Good morning everyone, Newborn Investor here and welcome back to another live day trading video. Hopefully we get some great opportunities today as we're all here to make some money. But before we get into today's video, if you really appreciate my live trades, show me some support by hitting the like and subscribe button. It means a lot. That being said, let's get straight into today's action. Pre-market looks good. SPY, Tesla and Triple Q gapping up on a solid uptrend. But in this state of market, I think it could quickly reverse. We have seen that in the past. So I'll not be in a hurry to jump in. I'll wait for the first five to 10 minutes to see how both SPY and Triple Q reacts and then define my trades based on that. We do have over 10 minutes to market open. So I'll go ahead and pause for now and I'll talk to you guys at market open. Market is open, watching SPY. Quickly reversed. I'm in. It makes a new high. I'll try to get out. Out for now. Flipping to Tesla. Trying to get into 40. Stop would be high of the scandal. <clears throat> Out of one, out of the other. That was a perfect trade. Waiting. Not ready yet. Spy and Triple Q making a move to the upside. Staying strong, see how it quickly reversed. Volume is low. Flipping to SPX. Looks good to the call side now. I think it may continue to make new highs, but unless it gives me a pullback, I'm not ready to get in. Wow, what a move. SPX about 3825. It's a waiting game now. We overextended to the upside. I've been watching this from 350. Now it's over $5. No way it's giving me a pullback. But I'll stay the course. Never chasing. Not trading a breakout setup. Especially with SPX could quickly go wrong. Around 10 minutes before I close trading for the day. Not sure whether I would get an entry within that time frame. It's slowly grinding. It's not coming to the EMA. As I said, it made a new high. Watching closely. If it continues to make new highs, then I think I'll wrap it up. I didn't get it. Bummer there. Canceling for now. 
Lou was 320. I was at 3. Bad luck there. Missed my entry by 20 cents. That was the one opportunity I was looking for. Unfortunately, I missed it. So I think it would be good to wrap up the trading and call it today. Overall, an OK day of trading, making $65 in less than 30 minutes. No reasons to complain. As I always say, my goal here is not to hit home runs, but to make consistent basis and live another day to trade. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye.